Having a template save with your favorite effects can help you to be a whole lot quicker and more efficient in the studio. What up yo, this is your boy Wavy Wayne. Today we're going to look at how to set up a template for recording. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, I have a session here. On my template, uh, it's pretty basic. I have an audio track, a few aux input tracks with time-based effects, and I have my master fader. On my audio track, we'll take that into focus first. On the inserts, what I have is the RDSer. I like to catch those S's pretty quickly. Right after that, I got my R compressor right there with the Renaissance Wave Bundle and I have my REQ. So that's my vocal chain that I like to use while I'm actually recording. I may switch these effects up later, but that's the pretty basic setup. Got the R, comp uh, the DSer, compressor, and then EQ. On the send side, uh, basically I'm sending out to a couple of delays. I have a quarter note delay send, an eighth note delay send, I have a wide effect, which is actually just going over to a stereo uh, doubler, and I have a reverb effect. That's it. Pretty simple. I like to have those on the track and ready to go so that as I'm recording, I can easily access those effects. As you know, when you are recording, you can't insert any plugins or uh, create any sins. So already having them on the track, ready to go, is going to be crucial to moving quickly and getting a, a flavor up for that mix real fast. If you don't know how to set up time-based effects, make sure you watch my video. I'll leave a link in the description uh, on how to set up time-based effects in your Pro Tools session. Let's take a look at the aux input tracks themselves. I have the delay quarter note. On this, I'm using the H delay plugin. Pretty simple. I just have a quarter note delay setting with a short feedback. On my eighth note delay, I'm also using the H delay. I really like this H delay. Uh, and I just have an eighth note setting with a short feedback, right? Now you can of course change these settings at any time for any session, but it's just like my standard start off way to go, okay? On the wide plugin, I'm just basically using this Waves Doubler, uh, the Doubler 2. And I, I have uh, set up a preset of the basic doubler. I may adjust that as needed, but that's a good starting point. And on my reverb, one reverb that I like to use here is this uh, Renaissance R verb. And again, uh, one of the presets that I have pulled up here is going to be either the Studio A plugin, or sometimes I like to go ahead and use my uh, medium dark plate. I really like that medium dark plate on a lot of uh, hip hop records and stuff. So that's how I'll get started with setting up that template. Pretty simple. Now to save this and use this for my future sessions, what I'll do is go up to the file menu and choose save as template. All right. And then I'll just name this um, as my YouTube template. All right, you can choose a category under where you want to put it. You can even add a category. Let me add a category. I'm going to name this Wavy Temps. I'm a Wavy Templates, all right? Cool. Hit OK. And now that setup that I have can be used for any session I'm ready when I'm ready to for it. So to use that template, I'm just going to start up a new session. Command N. And I'm going to access my new category, Wavy Temps. And here it is, my YouTube template. I'm going to select that. As far as my session parameters, you can always change those when you're using a template. I like to keep my audio file type as wave, my bit depth 24-bit, and my sample rate 48K. Hit OK. Choose a place to save this session. Uh, boom. And voila. On my, uh, the session opens up with all the tracks and effects that I have already in place, all right? As I'm recording, I'm gonna wanna use more than one audio track. And instead of having to create a new blank audio track and insert each one of these effects again and send to all those different effects uh, again, what I'm gonna do is just simply duplicate this track as needed. So if I just either right click on this track's nameplate and choose duplicate or use the shortcut Shift Option D. If you're on a PC, it'll be Shift Alt D. 
this is how I'll duplicate this track. When you go to duplicate a track, you get this window that pops up um, asking you basically what uh, parameters of that track do you want to duplicate. So I don't typically want the active playlist. They don't give me another track with the exact same clips and stuff. I don't want that. Or I don't want the alternate playlist either. And I typically don't want to copy automation from one track to another in this way. But I do want inserts, I do want the sends, and possibly any group assignments. So I'll typically leave those three checked when I'm duplicating this track. Hit OK, and I'll get another audio track with the exact same settings, exact same uh, sends already ready to go. It's going to be super simple, especially when I'm working with the same artist and we're just doing different vocal tracks. That's going to be the way to do it, all right? So that's the Wavy Way tip of the day. Using a template can help you to be a whole lot faster, a whole lot more efficient, and you can have your favorite effects ready to go with ease, all right? If you like this way of setting up your template, be sure to thumbs up this video, comment, and subscribe, and uh, y'all just be dope, all right? I'll catch you later.